What is going on, y'all? Cussing Tuna back with another one. And we're going to be bow hunting in this one on Way of the Hunter. If y'all enjoyed this, hit that subscribe button. Leave a like on this video, or 10 likes, and comment down below. It's always appreciated. But yeah, we got some mule deer up here, about 200 yards out, that we heard calling. And we, we got calls, so we could be able to call at least one in and try to get it in the bow range and take it with the bow. We got great wind. It's always great to have wind. But yeah, we're going to get as close as possible and wait to see. Oh, they're moving. Are you serious? Are you serious? Y'all are moving right now? We got the one we want coming in. He's a level one mature. And that's the one we wanted to come in to try to get a shot on because we do, we do not like those level one matures in our herds. So that's a call buck. And he is about 65 yards out. We have the bow. We bought one of the better bows, newer bows. Oh, we was about to take that shot and then he started walking. Now he's behind a bush and we cannot see him. So we got to wait for him to come behind that tree or we won't get a shot on him. He's coming directly towards us. So we got to get the bow ready or he might not give us a shot. Where's he at though? Sound like he's right on top of us. Oh, there he is. Oh, no, get the bow pulled back. back. The bow pulled back. <laughs> Boom! Absolutely dropped him. How far... Did the other one spook? No, no, the other one spook. So we might be able to... He was about 50 yards. 50 yard bow shot. With the bow on this mule deer. So, let's try to get up close, claim him, and we might be able to get... There was whitetail mixing in this herd, too, with the mule deer. So, we might be able to get a whitetail if we can crawl up and see him. But, I love when they don't run anywhere. That is the best type of feeling. Oh, it went all the way through. All the way through. 49%. Level 1. Yeah, that was a good one to get out the herd. You don't want any of those ones in your herd at all. Put the call and see if another one will come in. I've been having more and more fun. Those deer never came back, though. New deer or white tail, they never came back after a shot. The bow's a little louder than I thought, but that's fine. But yeah, I've been having more and more fun with this game. I've been playing it a lot more lately, off camera, because I've just been having a blast with it. But the bow. I've been having a lot of fun with the bow. That's what I've been mostly using. That's why I bought the better one so I can hunt like moose and um, Roosevelt or Rocky Mountain elk or whatever the elk is and other animal species with it. Just been having a. I, I, I chased badgers down and shot badgers with it. <laughs> I've just been having fun with the bow. I don't know why. It's different. It, I like the sound it makes when it hits the animal. Like if you're hunting whitetail and stuff. That thump that lets you know, oh, I got I hit him. I don't know how good I hit him, but I hit him good. We had some Rocky Mountain Elk at the zone that we have mule deer at. This zone up here, it when I found the zone, it said these things drip rarely. And I've never seen them here before now that they're the first time that they're here. I'm not after those. Where's those mule there's the mule deer? This is normally a good mule deer slash whitetail zone that I love coming to and I love hunting. So we're going to try to the tree stand or not tree stand, a stand over Oh, y'all are calm. Good. There's a stand over in this direction which I don't know where it's at exactly. I don't remember. But we're going to try to get to it or close enough to where we can use the collar and try to call in the mule deer there's a mule a young mule deer that might actually grow into something because there's a mature there's a mature you can tell they're matures by their age but i do hopefully these things don't scare off my mule deer 
Oh, don't run. Oh, why did you run straight into me? That is so annoying, dude. Dang it. This, there's a mule deer right here at 100 yards. And that might be far. I kind of want to try it. <sighs> yeah, I hit it. Did I hit it good? We about to find out if I hit it good or not. But it looks like I can see the arrow in him. He, he, there he is. he's coming back. So he circled around. I hope that was a good shot. I should have got the penetration. Is that him? That is him. I'm kind of waiting for him to bed down. Which I think that's what just happened. He just bedded right there. Nope, there's him. He's running in circles, so we're just going to give him a minute to go down. I don't want to push it in there and bump him off. So we're just going to give it a minute. He's right there, and it's not looking like he's going down. So... I might try, if he gives me a chance to get another shot in him. But we're just going to wait and see if he'll go down. I thought that was a good shot. It felt like a good shot. Maybe I should go over here and look at the blood and see if it was a good shot or not. That's the best way to tell. We got good blood. We got great blood. Medium amount of blood. The animal expires slower. But he will go down. So we're just going to give him a few minutes to go down. Oh, I was about to say, might as well do some herd management and take out that doe. She was a mature. She's she, she's not long anyway. Oh, he's he's down. He's not down yet. <laughs> he's still alive. We're just going to wait right here and wait for him to go down. The blood has food fragments, so I think I hit a little far back and hit intestines. So... Or just, can I get another shot into him? It's always safe if you're able to. To get a second shot into him. Because if you can get a second shot into him, that's always the better route to go. And it, it was the better route to go. That second shot helped out a lot. You could tell that he was running in circles everywhere. I would have never found his blood. I would have never. I probably would have never found him. Oh, yeah. Look. Yeah, I hit way far back than I wanted to. Oh, and this one also, I hit far back, but that's what brought him down. He's only 48% adult. He might have got a little bigger, but not much. But he's down. That's all that matters. We claimed him up. We didn't lose him. Which that is good. Oh, and there's a white tail drink zone rarely. This level two mature. Just gave me a shot. Come on. Stop. Right there. Right there. How good a shot? Oh, a lot better than I thought. Hey, I will take that. Didn't even go far. Didn't even go like two yards. Got some ducks coming in. Ooh, I need to do some way of the hunter. Duck hunting. That's something I haven't done yet. Any duck hunt. I pull out a shotgun. We hit here. Oh, a lot of blood. Air bubbles. It says he was laying down even though he was standing up. It says I shot him twice, but I only shot him once. I I don't. This might be the one I shot the other day and never found. But absolutely 
cut through both lungs. 63, level 2, mature. Take it. I'll take that. But yeah, I shot one with the other day with a gun, and he never went down. And that might be him right there. I don't know. If, uh, there's a mature doe. If I can get her to stand up, we'll take her, but... These... I don't want to take that male. That male looks... Way too good. Oof. She got thumped. Come on. I'm watching you. Where is it at? I'm about to put in a follow. Might have to follow it up. Oh, okay. You start running as I go to follow it up. Okay, that's crazy. Yep. Yep, yep. Yep. Oh, man, that was not a good shot. There's a level 3 mature in that bush right there. He's got a nice rack. And there's an adult. There's some youngs. Come on, you need to give me that shot. I want that level 3 mature. Oh, he's such a good looking mule deer, too. Whatever, they spook. But I found something really cool that I've never seen before. It's a tree house. So we're going to check it out. Or I'm going to check it out and see what it is. I honestly don't know why it spooked. I'm sad it did. I can't open the door. What is this? Okay, this is weird. I don't know what it is. I need to find a key for it. I think I do need to find a key for said treehouse. Thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed this one. I hope I can catch y'all in the next one. Later, everybody. Have an awesome day. And I'll see y'all next time.